Welcome back, I'm Fire Alarm and Zed, and today we're going to be covering some updates to my panel. So it looks pretty normal, doesn't look like much has changed until we get down to the bottom here. You can see a network card. The function of this network card is to take all the panel data and um, put it over an Ethernet network. I'll show you the software now that controls it. Uh, this is called FireMap, and it's a way of visualizing where all the alarm devices are and their status. It also tells you uh, supervisory alarms. So you can see I have a supervisory here because the panel door is open. And if I silence the alarms on the panel, it will also bring up another supervisory. You can see silence alarms. So the purpose of the software here is to monitor multiple fire panels in a large installation. Uh, one application I can think of in our country is big universities uh, tend to use this system to interface all their fire alarms together into one central monitoring station. Using this software you can also isolate and reset alarm devices. Okay, I think that's enough explanation. Let's get into some of the demonstration. Uh, so I'm going to set off a few devices in the main house. Uh, for this demonstration we're just going to do the whole thing remotely uh, from the panel and then uh, you'll see what happens on the software itself. So let's go into the menu now. Let's see we've silenced the alarms and it is isolated from the brigade. We would hope so. There we go. Okay. We're going to the menu. More test fire. And we'll look for some inside devices. We'll just start off with one device, uh, master bedroom as the name suggests, and we will test it. And pretty soon, you should see the alarm pop up on the screen. It will automatically zoom into the area that the alarm originates from. It does take quite a bit, and it should be coming through any second. Oh dear. Let's turn that down. So that alarm sound you hear is not actually coming from the uh, fire panel, that is coming from the software, because obviously we have the alarm silenced. Okay, and then the last team standing is now going to silence and reset the alarm remotely. Okay, and now it returns to normal and the panel resets. We're now just going to have a little bit of fun and set off every single device inside. Um, and it's going to go a little crazy. It's going to take a while. It's not really designed for that, uh, but why not, you know? So let's do that now. Start with device three, device four, all the way up to device 19. Are they coming through yet? Uh, in a minute. There we go. They do take a while to come through the software, especially when I'm doing this many of them. Okay, that's all the detectors. Now we will start. Oh, whoops, I accidentally exited the menu. And let's do it all again. <laughs> Three, four, five. I have a few devices on my system now. Okay, that's all of them. Now, modules. Uh, modules, MCP, dining area, test, kitchen, lower bathroom, computer room. Okay, that should be all of the cool points and let's just turn on the outdoor horn speakers for the fun of it okay you can see not all of them are there yet it takes a while for it to come across but you can see them all coming down the side there now <laughs> there's a lot of them 15 i think we should get get up to 20 alarms and wow if you saw this in an installation, I would uh, suggest you may want to leave the building because something's definitely going on. 
Okay, I think we've got 20 alarms now, do we? If you scroll up on that one, does it say 20? Yep, 20 alarms, so we've managed to set all of them in the house off. Uh, and now, do you want to isolate and reset the zones? Not in device by device, but... And now he's isolating all the zones, um, which will acknowledge the alarm. And as soon as we de-isolate the uh, zone, it will reset all the devices. And isolate it. And now we should just see, uh, see them start to disappear. And then there will just be four uh, ceiling space detectors that need to be manually reset. I wonder why that one's in defect. Oh, there we go. And then eventually the panel should um, go back to normal. Your house isn't isolating. <laughs> it's not listening. Right. It does take a while. There we go. You can see the zones are going into trouble for a little bit. De-isolate. Uh, there we go. Now the panel should be very close to resetting. It's just got two more devices in the roof space uh, that aren't on a physical zone, so he needs to reset those ones manually. There we go. Back to normal. The alarm stopped, and that is just a basic overview of the graphics interface software for Betronics using FireMap. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again next time.